So uh, Katrina, we've got three estimate options here. Uh, with our imaginary customer, which one did they decide to go with? Uh, well, our customer decided to go with this designer option here. Let's click on that. All right, let's. So we're we're selecting it then. We're selecting it. Um, Absolutely. Is is this going to be the final price? Well, you know, they've expressed that they uh, referred uh, someone else to to our company, and so we want to give them a referral discount. Okay. Let's then, see if we can do that. Yeah, let's show you guys how to do the referral discount or any kind of discount that you may need to or may want to be giving to your customer. Uh, so we're going to add it as what's called a custom line item. Okay. And in order to do that, you're going to jump into the items menu screen here of that specific estimate. And you're going to come up to these little three dot, uh, three, this three dot icon. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> And we're going to add a custom item. Now you can add it as a markup, but that's going to be a percentage. So if you're going to do a 5% markup, if you're going to add a discount here, that's going to be as a percentage as well. So you could do a 5% discount. But if you're actually doing a hard dollar amount, you're going to want to add that as a custom item. So let's click on that. And this is going to be a referral discount. Is that right? You got it. And how much? Uh, let's say we'll knock 500 bucks off. All right, so $500 off for this discount, and that's just a single. This could be, you know, if you offer coupons, if you offer like a, a buy now discount or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, or just need to finalize the, the negotiate and finalize that bottom number, that, that final price to the customer. Click on the add button. It's going to drop our total by 500 bucks. Right. And we can see that referral discount as an item down here at the bottom. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got the price finalized. Let's get a signed contract. That sounds great. We're going to jump back over to the documents. You can see we've already generated the sketch report. We've already given them the good, better, best style estimate with those three options. So let's go in and click on the plus button in the bottom right-hand corner and generate a contract. And Katrina, you get to sign the contract All today. Right. So my signature is not good on a digital <laughs> platform. Well, let's go ahead and go to the um, sign contract option. Well, yeah, I wanted to do that, but I want to review what the contract looks like. This is in case you are going to email this contract over to the customer and they're going to sign it and return it to you, or if you're just going to send them a final version, uh, you can save this document. Uh, but for quick review, the document itself, it's going to contain uh, the image of the shingle with the color that was selected all of the details of the description of each line item for that estimate or from the estimate into the contract and then of course the total price your contract language can be imported as well such that it appears you know any terms and conditions wood replacement charges um, you know what ifs all the terms that you use on your standard contract can be uploaded into roof snap and appear here right. but Katrina is absolutely right we need to actually go into the sign contract which is this one right below the contract, if we want to present the customer with a digital platform where they can sign the contract. It's gonna look similar, but this is a slightly different version where they do have this tap here or click here. Again, you can use RoofSnap on mobile, so if you've got this on your iPad or on your Android tablet, um, signing it on that is gonna be pretty easy as well. Yeah. But you can do it here on a computer screen with your mouse. And Katrina's uh, going to give it the best that, uh, there we go. That is my legal signature. Excellent. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Save button here. And when I click on the Done button up here in the upper right-hand corner, it's going to generate another revision of that contract. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the thing I wanted to point out here is you aren't limited to just one version of each document. If you make changes to the drawing and you've already created a sketch report, mm -hmm. you can go back and you can generate a second sketch report. Same thing here. We created the first contract for viewing purposes, and the second one, as I'm going to open it up now, is going to be that signed version of the contract. There we can see Katrina's Perfect. signature with the date stamp right below the box. Perfect. Um, lastly, if you want to bypass viewing the document, on your screen and download it so that you can attach it to an email. Mm -hmm. Instead of clicking anywhere into this gray area or this little icon here, click the download icon. So we'll go ahead and click that and we should see it come right down here into the bottom left. That goes into my downloads folder. Perfect. So from there you can email that contract out to um, your customer, your production team, whoever needs a copy of it to get the ball rolling. Wonderful.